Hello everybody out there, uh, this is ATCB, and today we're going to be playing Citadels, again, this time the two-player variant. Um, we've only played the two-player variant once before, uh, that's not as saying we're going to make loads of rules mistakes, we sh should be alright with this. It's pretty, we think it's kind of... It's, it's, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. We think. Um, but we did really enjoy the, the two-player variant when we played it before, um, because it's clever and it's feels quite different to the regular game, while maintaining almost the exact same mechanics, um, which is pretty good. Um, we're not going to go through the rules of Citadels in general in detail, uh, because A, because we don't particularly usually do that on the channel, and B, because we've already played Citadels, so I will put a link to Citadels. Uh, it's probably maybe flashed on screen already. Here. Here. I'm airing it. Here. I won't wait today, I'll literally just put it on as soon as the game starts. Shit. Um, I'm just too lazy for that. Uh, there'll also be one in a link in the video description, so please check that out. Um, but for those of you who are familiar with Citadels, basically the only real difference is you draft two characters at the beginning of the round instead of uh, one. And that's kind of it, and half of them get drafted and half of them go in a dis discard pile, essentially, in a process that you're going to see right now. Right now. Pretty I've got much. the crown, because I'm the oldest, and don't I know it. Um, yeah, let me check what my, what my districts actually are first. Uh, yes. Okay, okay, um, so what I get to do essentially out of the eight characters is I get to pick one and then I get to discard one. John will not know which, Either. which I've done, yeah. But I can um, guess. Yes. That is exceptionally true. Um, hmm. Uh, hmm. <laughs> yep. Uh, but I'm going to. This is also kind of the detriment of this game mode in that it is a slightly more thinky than the other one. Yeah, it is a little bit. So you um, may be subjected to some awkward sentences. What's new? Other than jet fighters going overhead, apparently. Um, okay. There we go, so I picked one and dumped another. And for anyone out there who is irritated by certain characters in Citadels, it's also quite a good chance to hardly play with them. But, uh, yeah. Show people what I picked. An insider, inside of you. I don't know. I haven't thought this through. <laughs> no. Feast your eyes on that.
the drafting does speed up a bit at the beginning of each round because you just have less options. And it tends to speed up through the game as well as you, your kind of course becomes locked in. That will not stop me from haranguing John for taking too long to pick. Shut up. But nothing ever does, so... The more you harangue me, the longer I'll take. This is just my thing, because I lose my train of thought and I have to start from the beginning. And you can't make me speed up. Come on. What? Sorry, I have to start from the beginning now. Uh... Hmm. <laughs> okay then. If I can remember the actual order, I think I can. Um... So, I have the crown, so assassin, take your turn. Huh. There is no assassin. Mm, surprised. And uh, thief, take your turn, there is no thief. Magician. <laughs> no, <laughs> I forgot what I've kept already. Uh, uh, king. Uh, so... Do we take, hang on, do we take two turns? Yeah, one for each character, isn't it? Yeah, must do. Oh, what? Cat. Come here. Cat being cat. Stop being cat. Yeah, that's right. Uh, okay, I'm going to take two gold from the bank with the king. And I'm going to spend three of it to build a manor. And then I'm going to take a gold back, because it's a kingly, kingly thing, kingly thing. It's a king thing. It's a king thing. Right. Yeah. Uh, Bishop. Uh, Bishop. You. Yeah. I'm going to take two gold. Mm-hmm. And spend one gold. Um, and take that gold back. Okay. That's, that's my turn. Okay, you use your merchant. What merchant? Is that? Uh, maybe I got confused about what I put down. Uh, if you're not a merchant, then I'm an architect. Um, draw two gold. And then take my free two cards. Two cards. Uh, and then I'll spend all four on a harbour. Ward. I thought I put the ward away. And um, didn't. Well, I didn't. So, um, what's the rules on the destroying district? Is it one less than the cost of the thing? Correct. Right. I'm not going to do that immediately. I'm going to do the draw two cards. It can be a bit weak, can't it? Because like you spend all your gold in that instead of improving yeah. yourself, which is even more dangerous in a two-player game than it would be in a in a bigger multiplayer game. Taking that one, starting that one, and then paying one gold and then getting it back. Yes. Can you destroy anything? Nope. Okay, cool. That's it then. And yeah, the lack of shuffling between rounds definitely speeds the game up a wee bit. Um, okay. We are going to... Party? Yeah. Uh, we are going to... Here, as you know, 
I do like to think of you know, someone's approaching the city from this way. Go to the harbour before you get to the manor, obviously. The manor could be outside the city. These are important questions. Or it could be an island manor. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> Hello. Hello. This game really mm. does help reflect just how noisy your house is. Okay. <laughs> yeah, planes constantly flying overhead. Um, hmm. Point out that up until the very moment we pressed record on this camera, the the cat was perfectly was was like lying under a blanket on a chair, perfectly happy with his lot in life. But now attention is being paid to cards instead of him, and that he cannot abide. Okay. Um, uh, assassin. No assassin. No assassin. Thief. Thief. Are you going for a thief? Well, now, that's a question, isn't it? So the first ones. Uh, oh. No, no assassin. Uh, mm. I'm gonna steal from the architect. Shit, yeah. Okay. You might have no money by then, but yeah. Um, at least it means you've got to get rid of it. Uh, magician. Well, <clears throat> take those two. Hmm. Library. If you choose to draw cards when you take an action, you keep both of the cards you have drawn. Nice. And oh look, I have no money. Uh, do I want to do the magician thing? I got four cards. I do, I want to do the magician thing. Is that a swap into our hand? Yep. Exchange your cards with another player. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Yep, that's the worst possible thing you could have done to me. Yep. In, for the views at home, I just gave him the cards he already has down. Yep. Uh, that's a good move. Um, King. Well, <laughs> um, I'm going to... <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, this is bad. Um... Best thing for me to do right now. Um, I'm going to have to. I'm 
I'm going to take a gold and trigger the king thing. Um, and then I'm going to draw two cards. Put them back. That's it. Well, that did not work out the way I wanted. King. But you were the yeah. architect. Have my money. Yeah. I'm going to take money. That should be my money. Draw two extra cards and put both in my hand. You don't need extra cards. Shut you can't tell me what I need. Okay, uh, this is not going all that well, to be brutally honest. Um, If you're wondering what the horrible noises are, they are a cat playing with a small fabric fish with a bell on it <laughs> on the end of a long thin wire. In case you needed to sample it for like an art house student film or something. Yeah, full credit to a cat with small fabric <laughs> fish with a bell on. Yes, for the soundtrack to this. Engaging epic. And to uh, the Royal Air Force for just repeatedly flying jet fighters over my house. Thank you for that. Did you literally just put one, put one down in there and pick it back up? Change my mind, <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine, guys. Okay. Either assassin or thief is you first. Assassin. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna hit the magician. Okay. So thief, no thief. Magician. I haven't no. taken my turn yet. You're not the thief. But I'm the assassin. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, you get to do other stuff too. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. how the game works. <laughs> it is how the game works. You you are right. I cannot deny this. Mm. 
I'm going to take two coins. So you turn? Yep. Now thief? Yep. Now thief? Now magician? Yep. Uh, bishop? No, king. Just the king. I did not the king. And so did your assassin! Um, that's one thing for the game. Sure. Yeah, he gets a coin for having a mana. He's going to draw two coins and then he's going to play a castle. Totally a communal word. Have you never heard the word finangle before? No, I haven't, John, because you just made it up. I did not just make it up. It's a word. Do you mean finagle? No. It's finagle. Are you sure? Because finagle would actually fit what you were trying to say. As in, like, I've fix something. I've only ever heard it as finangle. <laughs> well. I'm googling this as soon as we finish this game. Viewers, please. <laughs> Tell us. I made that noise. Okay, I'm gonna activate the bishop thing. Mm -hmm. uh, to take one coin and then take another two. And then I'm going to spend it all on my cathedral. My fancy, fancy cathedral. Okay. Ah, shit. I'm the warlord. I've got nothing to do. Uh, this is going appallingly. Um, the problem was I couldn't go for the obvious play because like, you'd either I knew you're either the stealing or, the or murdering from the magician. So I went for the defence against the warlord and the possible uh, attack against the magician. Yeah. Because you left me the assassin, which didn't actually matter because you weren't the magician. But Yeah, but I've got to leave you something. It's true. Um, okay. And the assassin's no use unless you think you know what the other person is. And it's true. Your plays aren't obvious. That's the thing. Only defensive plays are obvious in this game. But you could have thrown away the assassin. I mean, it didn't actually matter because my assassin missed. I could have, but I was throwing away other stuff. To like throw the magician. Off. To... Yep. Um... Uh... Got a draw. Right. Continuing to draw harbors. Um, right. Yeah. Unless this uh, goes uh, very, swings around very fast. Hmm, okay. Our first game of this was an extraordinarily tense hour or so event um, where we were both hovering on the edge of victory for about 15 minutes of it. Um, and just so you know, you know, given how this game is going, I, I won that one. I did. But that's not the one we filmed. But I'm glad we filmed the one we filmed. Oh, shut up. Pick your character. Not for either of us. I'm not bitter. No, for, for Sam. Either. For Sam? The one we filmed. Oh, I see. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, the the normal game that we filmed. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was. Oh, excellent. you mean the one on one? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I mean the first two player one. Uh... That we played.
No, the one that we recorded that I linked at the beginning of the video is... Um, well, yeah, let's not give it away in case people haven't watched it. But it's worth watching, definitely, for, for Sam and the conclusion <laughs> of that game. I'm fine. Oh, really? It's fine. I'm fine, guys. It's an interesting comment, but it's effectively just... Yeah. Getting rid of the ward, of the ward and the bishop at the same time, kind of. Just kind of levels out what someone can do, really, to a certain degree. Um, yeah. That is a different cat toy he is now playing with. People say we should... I say people. One person has said that we should edit these videos, John. Do you think we should edit out the noise of cats playing in the background? I think that's the best part of the videos. I, I think it is too, and I, I'd hate to lose that kind of earthy charm. Assassin. Thief. No thief. Magician. That's my turn. Get to gold. I'm not going to put down any districts. Um, okay, so king. Take your gold. Trigger king ability. Dragon gate. Yep. Uh, Dragon gate basically it costs six gold to build, but it's worth eight points at the end of the game. And Jinx is making a lot of noise. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's fine. The building of the dragon gates. It's fine. <laughs> Hammers echoing through your city <laughs> yeah. with a ting a ling a ling. I think you should play the game. I just realised I've given you a whole bunch of cards you can use. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> uh, next up is the architect. I'm going to take two gold and draw two cards. And. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the money to do the other thing I wanted to do, so I'll just skip to my next turn, which is the Warlord. But I will take two coins and another one for activating the Watchtower. Mm -hmm. Oh! Boo! <sighs> Excuse me. Okay, we're good to go again. The cat has been. Sell tape to the wall. <laughs> Palace. Yep. Nice. The naked lady. That's, it. That's, That's not it. why I picked it. I picked it because it's. Yeah, right. I do not believe you. Okay, okay, okay.
Oh my god, cat. How did you escape from the solitaire? <laughs> I wonder if the snowballing problem is better or worse than two player. Thank you. Mm. My cat. Nope. He's in front of me. And that noise is him. He's probably looking himself. Looking like radiator or something. Good, good. <laughs> I'm going to steal from the magician. Okay. Wait. No, I've already said it. Yeah, it's not your smartest move. Never mind. <laughs> <coughs> He's a nightmare. Let me take two points. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm surprised you're not just slamming down one or two cost districts. If you really don't have them. Um, Presumably. Yeah. Hmm. Kind of makes me rethink my play. Um, I'm the magician. I, uh... Um. Oh, yeah, I'm going to pick that card going for someone else and then forgot about it. Oh well. I'm going to discard these two cards. And then draw two cards. That's better. Uh, and then I'm going to... Oh. I'll help you, sir. Take two goals. And then I'm going to spend a gold for a tavern. Okay, King. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> I, would be, I would have been surprised if you hadn't taken the King at this point. Um, I'm going to oh. take two gold. I'm going to play three, play that, activate the king and take two back. Okay. 
I suspect this is it. Uh, well, well, no, next round you've taken your turns. Um, mm -hmm. I am the architect. Uh, I'm going to take two goals. I'm going to draw one and two. And I'm going to play a monastery. That's me. I nearly put my districts in with the. So did I. And now you pick. So, the way this game ends, essentially, is that um, it ends, not instantly, but it's it's the last round when someone places down an 8th district. Um, so I'll be very surprised if John didn't do that at some point this turn, at which point uh, the rest of the turn happens, right? You don't get, like, there's not another turn after that, is there? Um, I'll just... Yeah, the turn check. finishes. Yeah. And then that's it. But everyone else gets a chance to... Uh, yeah, it ends after the current round is completed. Um, it's tighter than I thought it would be, although I haven't counted up our numbers. Okay. It's way tighter than I thought it was. Really? We have the same amount. Mm. Have you taken into account I've got one of every colour? No, uh, but that's not to say I couldn't as well. Uh, being as I'm only one Red off. missing? Yes. Um, so, anyway. <laughs> um. Ooh. <laughs> That's clever. That's clever. John has done a clever thing. Why, well, thank you. Um, what John has done <laughs> is remove the assassin and the warlord. Oh, now. Yes, the two. Now. That has put me in a place where I am questioning whether I take the bishop or not. Because I could take the bishop to defect, defend from the warlord. But if I do, it could easily also be a ploy to make me pick the bishop so that John can stall me this turn by killing the bishop. All this could be, all be in my head. Actually, a really tough decision to make. A really tough decision to make. I said, dropping the bishop, but thankfully not having put anything down. Um, okay. Someone's just doing like road work outside or something. Uh, never mind. Um, so can I just take this opportunity to say I really love the temple art? Because I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like a monk or something laying his hand on an altar. But it just looks like a really weird DJ who's got like a serious aesthetic that he's trying to go for. Hello? <coughs> Terrible. Good. Go sit down. You dropped the bishop again. bishop again, I didn't notice. I did not drop the bishop again, I dropped one of my district cards. Um, that. I 
like a child you chew on everything. What do you think we should do? Yeah, I, I know, look, I know it was a mistake, but we can't take it back now. You may be out of analyzing the game, I think you probably, probably won. <sighs> hmm. Okay. Uh, assassin. King. Okay. I'm going to take two gold. I'm going to spend four gold. I'm going to build my eighth district. Okay. So I'm correct in saying you can continue to build districts, can't you? Yes. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Just. Okay, I am going to uh, uh, thief, no, magician. I am going to discard. I can't see myself being able to build that. I can't build that. Yes, okay. I'm going to take away those two and draw two to replace. Not what I wanted. Um, I'm then going to uh, take two gold. And that's my turn. So, uh, Bishop. Uh, oh no, King first, right? Yep. yep. Nope. No King. No bishop. Um, not sure. I'm going to hold two cards. I'm going to activate the merchant, which gives me two coins. I'm going to fail to pick them up. Three coins, surely. I'm oh no, you didn't. Coins. Yeah, you. But you get a coin after drawing the cards, right? Oh yeah. Cool. Doesn't, doesn't change anything. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, my last one's the architect. Um, I am going to take two gold. It's not going to be enough gold. Uh, and then draw two cards. Eh, no, no, could be worse. Um, I'm going to build a watchtower, <laughs> I do have all that. 
I've got all the colours, uh, and then I'm going to build... Uh, it totally doesn't make a difference at this stage. I mean, I think you've won without doing the counting. Um, but, um, I don't know, that's more interesting than the other one. Let's do that. Because uh, on the architects I can build up to the districts. So I'm going to build uh, keep. Oh, jinx. No, yep. no, no. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah. Get away. Um, I'm going to build keep. That's me. Cool. Um, so, scoring, we both got the extra points for this eight districts. But um, the person who gets there first gets extra. Uh, yes. Yep. So you have. But what I'm going to say, we both have all five colours, yeah? Yep. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, yep. Um, See, so basically, we count up our, our coins and you have an extra two points. And that's it. Yep. That's right, yeah? Uh, so I've got 27 coins. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. <laughs> Is there anything about draws? Oh wait, plus the extra two. Plus. My extra two for getting there first. Oh, you didn't count the, two, the no. extra two. Oh. Got, oh god, I've got a coin cost of 27. Oh. Oh well. Bloody close. Oh, it's really good. Very close. Well done. Congratulations. It's one each, one all. Um, yeah. But mine's, mine's on camera. That's true, but the other one happened. Are you denying it? I'm not denying it. <laughs> Good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I really like Sea Player Citadels. Uh, it's punchier uh, and it feels like a real tug of war. Mm -hmm. And the character selection is really kind of like, what have they done? What they? Like, lots of bluffing and like wrangling over things. And you end up wrangling over things, the other player might not even consider do, even doing in the first place. They were doing something just for their own layout. Um, like the, the choice between the assassin and the warlord that you passed on. I hadn't even, like, me picking the assassin was just so I could go first. I wasn't thinking of assassinating the bishop. Like, no, you're the yeah. warlord, so you couldn't discard any of mine. But that is an interesting combo. But, like, the assassin and warlord instantly makes you go, do I pick the bishop or not? Yeah. Like, so that that's an interesting one. Um, yeah, two-player Citadels is great. Uh, we've talked about Citadels before and how we enjoy it. Um, and how it's like value for money and stuff, and how the cat is nearly knocking on the camera again. Um, but yeah, Citadels is really good. We might do another big game of Citadels as, as a recording with the extra characters you get in this, mm -hmm. uh, and the extra district cards. This was just played with standard characters, standard districts. Uh, but yeah, that's pr pretty much it. Uh, let us know if you want to see us play more variants on the channel, because um, I'm not sure... Oh my god, cat, now sneezing. Uh, this is literally the worst. If this is your first ATCB <laughs> video, he's usually not this bad. I absolutely usually he's like sweet, like he interrupts a bit, and he's not quite as. We're also help that we don't have Sam here making constant. <laughs> making just constant <laughs> Sam noises yeah. uh, and interrupting. But yeah, um, let us know if you want to see more variants on the channel because it's something we don't do a huge <laughs> amount of. Um, <laughs> He's like this off camera as well, constantly have to basically control his <coughs> motion. Um, yes, let's finish that thought. Let us know if you want to see more variants uh, and stuff like that, or just tell more, more citadels in general. Uh, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Hopefully less cat interference uh, and, and me winning. That will be good next time as well, whatever the game is. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yes, he's on my side. Um, yeah. thanks for watching, goodbye!